What's going up guys? It's Birchie here today. I'm going to be telling you guys how you can get your multiplayer specialist ability and weapon double kills. They're towards the end and you have to get double kills with your ability and your specialist weapon to actually be able to unlock the full gear for each specialist. And now there's certain game modes you want to stay away from such as team deathmatch and kill confirmed and then there's other game modes you want to actually jump into. First off, I'm just going to vote Nuketown. Go for Nuketown 24-7 right now because it's going to be objective games, fast-paced, close quarter maps, and you can spawn trap them, and you're going to be getting a lot of kills. It's just going to be the be it's going to benefit you. If you're on PC, um, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, I would highly suggest you jump in there and do that. And other game modes you're going to want to be playing after that is you're going to want to play Domination, Safeguard, and vote for smaller maps if you're playing those. Um, even in... Um, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, Domination, Safeguard, you're, there's going to be teams on the um, B flag. They're going to be escorting the robot. And always run Overclock. You can be able to run and jump over there and just get your special stability and take people out. And then there's actually Ground War. A lot of people think I'm crazy for this. If you want to play Ground War, you can do that. And um, you'll be able to get um, more people and just vote for the smaller maps that are on Ground War. They're all usually larger ones, but just find a map that you're good at and you can use. And jump into Ground War if you want. There's more people if you get like Safeguard or Domination. Vote for those game modes or Hardpoint. And there's going to be more people in those objective places. So you, And it's Ground War, so there's going to be more people in general. So the more the merrier, right? You can take out more people with less time. And then another tip I wanted to tell you guys about hardpoint is actually excellent. If you have kinetic armor like I'm doing right now, and you're playing hardpoint like I am right now on Nuketown, you can get Nuketown hardpoint or any other hardpoint game. And um, run if you're doing the specialist um, ability, not the weapon. You can actually use um, two C4s or two Simtex grenades and a couple flashbangs and a high fire rate weapon such as the VMP Vesper or Kuda with rapid fire and you just honestly I would suggest a Vesper with a foregrip laser and extended mags and two flashbangs and two Simtexes. You just throw in two Simtexes, two flashbangs, and then you just slide in there with kinetic armor and spray and pray in the hard point. If the enemy has the hard point. As you guys probably would yeah, make sure they have the hard point. Just don't do it to your own team. You'll waste everything. Um, you're guaranteed some kills that way. It's gonna work for you guys, I promise. And then if you're wanting to get your weapons done, this worked for me. I voted Nuketown and like Combine and stuff, and I played a lot of Safeguard. But Safeguard worked the best because they're going to be coming out or something, and you can go on Spawn Trap them and just pop out, say, the War Machine. You can just basically just, if you see the team, just um, spray and pray with that thing, and you'll be able to take out enemies. That's all I had for you guys today. If you did enjoy the video, remember to drop a like, um, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you want to come back and watch more of me, you can come back and subscribe and watch every video I try to up upload every day or every few days. But anyways, guys, it's been good. You have a good day. I'm out. Hard point, I